What's up? I'm Cindy Neely, and it's time for the shortcut. Coming up on today's show, it's Cinco de Mayo. Find out some fun drink recipes that you can make to celebrate at home today. Plus, I whipped up some easy, quick Mexican recipes that are perfect for today's festivities, and they taste delicious. How much do you really know about Cinco de Mayo? It's a Mexican holiday that celebrates the Mexican victory over the French at the Battle of Puebla in 1862. It represents Mexican unity and patriotism. Now, it's a national holiday, but it's celebrated all around the world with festive parties. Joining me on the shortcut to show us some of the tasty Cinco de Mayo recipes with a twist is Carmen Mott, the founder of Applesauce Bartending. Hello, Carmen. Good morning, Sydney. How are you doing today? Good morning. Thanks for coming back on the show. So, Carmen, what drink recipes are you going to show us today? So today we are making a Mexican sunset. So we wanted to do something different. You know, we know margaritas are like the traditional Cinco de Mayo cocktail, but we wanted to change it up a little bit with a really great but easy cocktail to make at home. Well, first we're using a really great tasting tequila. It is Altos. It's a 100% agave tequila which means it's 100 percent made with the agave plant that it used to make tequila so it's a really great tasting tequila we're going to get our cocktail shaker and we're going to put a scoop of ice in our shaker i already have my tequila here ready we need two ounces of tequila so i'm going to do one and then we got our two ounces of tequila here Next, we need peach schnapps. This is just a peach liqueur, peach, peach flavored liqueur. And we need one ounce of our peach schnapps. And you know, it's a little bit more, it's okay, it's Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> yes, true that. <laughs> and then next, we have amaretto. And amaretto is pretty much an almond liqueur. So if you had an amaretto sour, this is what you were drinking. We're gonna do one ounce of amaretto. And then we're going to grab some fresh limes. Fresh limes are the way to go. I cut mine into little half moons. They're easy to get the juice out. My rule to pour my pineapple juice in a, or any juice into a cocktail, I just say pour, and that's usually enough. <laughs> <That's my secret. laughs> so we have all our ingredients in the shaker. I'm going to grab my glass here to shake. And remember when we shake, we shake up here so it can get good and cold. And we're going to strain this cocktail into our glass with our fresh ice that's in the glass. Gotcha. So we'll strain it in there. Oh, I'm not like this. There we go. Ooh, all right. I'm making, I'm making a little bit of a mess there, but that's all right. I'm pretty sure it's still going to taste delicious. <laughs> it's going to be great. That's all right. That means you were working. You waste a little bit. We're going to grab our grenadine and we're going to do a float of it around the cocktail. Gotcha. So you'll see it's going down like a sunset. And then we just grab our skewers with our fresh lime wedge and our cherries on it. If you got two of them, go ahead and do two because it's going to look real fancy. Then your friend's going to think you really a martini. Oh, I love this so much. It was so quick and easy to make. Thank you, Carmen, as always, for joining us on the shortcut. For more information or to book Carmen, email her at applesaucebartending at gmail.com or give her a call at 901-337-1003 or check her out on social media, Instagram and Facebook at Applesauce Bartending.